Hello YouTube, my name is Oso Guinea Pig. You should probably be doing your homework right now. Nah, but let's get this shit started. So I've seen a lot of videos regarding vertical jumbling combination locks, but I haven't seen a lot of, although there are some, of horizontally scrolling through combination locks. Now what I'm talking about is you having blocks in front of you, and looking at the color or texture of the block and scrolling through blocks, in this case horizontally, and determining the right combination or layering of blocks that will allow you to pass through a door or complete a challenge. Now, as you notice that this is a two-layer combination. Now, this will scroll through six different blocks on each level. So, because this is two-layer and only six blocks on each, you have 36 different combinations, which isn't a whole lot. So you can very easily, well, not super easily, with a little bit tweaking and unfortunately more wiring, you're going to get three layers. But you can actually, in a very simple way, you can increase the amount of blocks per layer. So you could have like 10 on each layer, which would uh, make your combinations up to 100 that you could have. So, uh... This is basically how it works. You have two corresponding buttons that just hook up to each layer. And once you get the right combination, in this case it's green over blue, my door opens and I can walk through. And as soon as the combination changes, I no longer have my output activated. So let's take a look at how this works. Right here we have two monostable circuits, and they're hooking up into the two different layers. And these layers are identical. So let's just look at the top layer because it's easier to see. So the top layer, you see we're powering the pistons from above, but otherwise the circuitry is exactly the same. And what we have here is a little piston tape. So the first thing that happens is the monostable circuits come through here. They give a very short pulse to this piston tape, which simply makes a round of these pistons. The blocks are first pushed over here, then pulled back by the sticky piston, then pushed over here, and then this piston pushes the blocks over here. So the second thing that happens is at the same time this pulse is sitting in exactly mirrored and as you can see it is actually using part of the same circuit on this side. Now this is the uh, detection of the combination. Right here we have the thing that is pulsing at the exact same time but we see we have a glass spot where the green is here. So what happens here is when I get to green you can see that green is now in front of me and this glass is now above this torch so now this block is not being powered well it actually is being powered right now because it's being powered from below but I'll show you why so the same thing is happening from below but now instead of detecting the glass block it's detecting the solid block so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit the bottom until I get to blue. So when I get to blue on the bottom, the corresponding block, instead of being glass block, is a solid block. So now what this will do is it will actually send a signal, which will turn off this torch. So now this block right here is not powered by either of them. So it's going to come through here and it's going to send a pulse here. So this is essentially an AND gate-like system. And this will simply come over here and power our output. I'm probably not going to do a tutorial on this just because it's not something that hasn't been done before. And also, it's not incredibly impressive. The only reason why it might be impressive is because of how com much I've compacted it. But it is generally simple how it works. I might make a video of my uh, three-layer design just as a proof of concept thing. But, I mean, I think this is just a proof-of-concept-like thing, too. Um, and it's a little different, and that's what I like about it. It's not your usual combination lock buttons. It's a little more interactive, and it's a little more kinetic, which is cool. So, uh, if you like the video, feel free to rate and comment, and give the video a like if you liked it that much. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and some tutorials, and yeah. 
I'll see you guys next time.